In an industry filled with glitz and glamour, the actress, Jean Crane, made a name for herself as a talented and dedicated performer. Born on May 25, 1925, in Barstow, California, Crane's interest in acting began at a young age. She attended college with the intention of studying music, but her natural talent for acting soon took center stage. Crane's big break came in 1943 when she was discovered by a talent scout and signed to a contract with 20th Century Fox. Over the next two decades, she appeared in over 30 films, including Leave Her to Heaven, Pinky, and The Model, and The Marriage Broker. Her performances were praised for their depth and nuance, and she quickly became a household name. Throughout her career, Crane was known for her versatility and her ability to take on a wide range of roles. She played everything from a femme fatale to a devoted wife and mother, always bringing a sense of authenticity and grace to her performances. Crane's contributions to the film industry were not limited to her acting abilities. She was also known for her philanthropy and her dedication to giving back to her community. She was actively involved in a number of charitable organizations, including the American Cancer Society and the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Despite facing challenges and setbacks throughout her career, Crane remained a beloved figure in Hollywood. She continued to act until the early 1970s when she retired from the spotlight to focus on her family. She passed away in 2003, leaving behind a legacy of talent, dedication, and generosity. In the end, Jean Crane's story is one of perseverance, passion, and a deep love for the art of acting. She will always be remembered as a trailblazer and a true Hollywood legend. Actress Jean Crane was a beloved figure in Hollywood, known for her talent and versatility. She starred in many films that left a mark in the industry. Do you have a personal story of how actress Jean Crane has inspired or impacted your life? One of the most iconic works of the actress is Pinky, a powerful film that showcased her range as an actress. Out of the many legendary works she has done, which one do you believe defined her career? Perhaps you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. As we delve deeper into the life and career of the actress, we will uncover many funny, shocking, and sad facts. So keep watching this video to learn more about her. Born in California on May 25, 1925, the actress, Jean Crane, was raised in a family that cherished the arts. Her father, George Crane, worked as a newspaper compositor, while her mother, Loretta Carr, was a silent film actress. This early exposure to the film industry sparked the actress's interest in performing. During her high school years, the actress excelled in drama and dance, further fueling her passion for the arts. She won a beauty contest, which led to her being discovered by a talent scout from 20th Century Fox. The studio offered her a contract, and she began her journey in the world of film. The actress's upbringing and early exposure to the arts played a significant role in shaping her career. Her mother's background in silent films provided her with a unique perspective and appreciation for the craft. Additionally, her participation in high school drama and dance classes honed her skills and prepared her for the rigorous demands of the film industry. Throughout her career, the actress worked with many influential figures who inspired her path. One such mentor was renowned director Walter Lang, who directed her in several films, including State Fair and Cheaper by the Dozen. Lang's guidance and expertise helped the actress refine her craft and establish herself as a talented performer. Moreover, the actress's co-stars also played a significant role in her development as an actress. For instance, working alongside actors such as Claudette Colbert and Spencer Tracy allowed her to learn from their techniques and approaches to acting. These experiences helped the actress develop her unique style and become a respected figure in the industry. In summary, the actress's family, upbringing, and early exposure to the arts significantly influenced her path. Her mother's background in silent films and her participation in high school drama and dance classes provided her with a solid foundation for her career. Furthermore, working with influential directors and actors helped her refine her craft and establish herself as a talented performer in the film industry. The actress, known for her roles in films like Pinky and State Fair, greatly influenced the industry during her era and beyond. She began her career in the late 1940s and quickly became a household name. Her ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance set her apart from her peers. In Pinky, 
The actress gave a powerful performance as a light-skinned African-American woman passing for white. The film tackled issues of race and identity, and her portrayal resonated with audiences. She received critical acclaim for her work and was even nominated for an Academy Award. In addition to her acting abilities, the actress was also known for her stunning beauty. She was often compared to Grace Kelly and was even named one of the 10 most beautiful women in the world by Motion Picture Herald. However, she never let her looks overshadow her talent. The actress's contributions to Hollywood extended beyond her work on screen. She was also a supporter of various charities and causes. She was involved with the Motion Picture Relief Fund, which provides financial assistance to those in the industry who are in need. Despite passing away in 2003, the actress's impact on the film industry is still felt today. Her work paved the way for future actresses and helped to break down barriers in Hollywood. Her legacy continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Ever since the actress was a young girl, she had always been fascinated by the glamour and excitement of the film industry. She would often sneak off to the local movie theater to watch the latest releases, mesmerized by the stories unfolding on the big screen. One day, while visiting her grandparents in California, she stumbled upon a film set near their home. With wide eyes and a heart full of curiosity, she approached the crew and asked if she could watch them work. To her surprise, they welcomed her with open arms and even allowed her to observe the actors rehearsing their lines. From that moment on, the actress knew she wanted to become an actress herself. She begged her parents to let her take drama classes and spend every spare moment practicing her craft. Her hard work paid off when she was discovered by a talent scout and offered her first film role at the age of 18. The actress's passion for acting only grew stronger as she continued to work in the industry. She starred in numerous films and became known for her versatility and natural talent. Despite facing many challenges along the way, she never lost her love for the art of storytelling and the magic of the movies. In the film People Will Talk, the actress portrayed Deborah Higgins. A radio adaptation of the movie was broadcasted by Lux Radio Theater on January 25, 1954, with the actress and Cary Grant reprising their film roles. Interestingly, the actress made a reference to Little Nell from the country in the movie. This line was used verbatim by Bette Davis' character in All About Eve in a scene opposite Gary Merrill. Both films were written and directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz, which explains the similarity. And people will talk. Cary Grant played a 42-year-old character, but he was already 47 when the film was released. The actress, on the other hand, was only 26. Despite their age difference, they had great chemistry on screen, making the film even more enjoyable. Despite facing financial struggles, the actress remained determined to pursue her dreams. She worked as a movie extra to make ends meet, even appearing in crowd scenes without any lines. This experience, however, proved invaluable as it allowed her to observe and learn from established actors. The actress's natural talent was soon recognized, but she still encountered skepticism from industry professionals who doubted her abilities due to her lack of formal training. Undeterred, she honed her craft through diligent practice and self-study, eventually winning over her critics with her undeniable skill. One significant challenge the actress faced was being typecast in light-hearted roles, which limited her opportunities to showcase her full range as an actor. However, she refused to be pigeonholed and actively sought out more complex and challenging parts. She even went against studio wishes, taking on a role in Pinky that required her to portray a character of a different race. This bold move paid off, earning her critical acclaim and demonstrating her versatility as an actor. In addition to overcoming industry skepticism, the actress also faced personal struggles, including the loss of her first child. Despite this heartbreak, she continued to work and support her family, using her art as a means of coping and healing. Through resilience and determination, the actress overcame numerous obstacles and became a beloved figure in Hollywood. Her legacy serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and the enduring allure of a true talent. In 1960, the actress was deeply involved in the Republican campaign to elect Richard Nixon as president, joining other Hollywood notables such as Walt Disney, James Stewart, Randolph Scott, Jerry Lewis, Ward Bond, George Murphy, Clifton Webb, Troy Donahue, Donna Reed, John Wayne, Walter Pigeon, Robert Taylor, Barbara Stanwyck, Laren Day, Robert Mitchum, and Wendell Corey. 
Interestingly, the actress passed away exactly 10 years to the day after her cheaper by the dozen co-star Myrna Loy. During the filming of A Letter to Three Wives, the actress was four months pregnant with her son Michael, adding an extra layer of challenge to her performance. This just goes to show the dedication and professionalism she brought to her craft. In 1945, the actress's career reached a turning point with the film Leave Her to Heaven. Her chilling portrayal of a possessive and jealous wife left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. The film's director, John M. Stahl, praised the actress for her ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and grace. The actress's performance in Leave Her to Heaven earned her the first of two Academy Award nominations. Although she did not win, the recognition solidified her status as a rising star in Hollywood. Critics and industry professionals took notice of her talent, and she became known for her versatility and range as an actress. In 1949, the actress took on a more lighthearted role in the film Pinky, which explores themes of race and identity. Her nuanced portrayal of a light-skinned African-American woman passing as white earned her widespread acclaim and her second Academy Award nomination. The actress's co-star, Ethel Barrymore, praised her for her sincerity and depth in the role. Throughout her career, the actress continued to challenge herself with diverse and complex roles. She starred in a range of genres, from musicals like State Fair to dramas like The Doctor and The Girl. Her ability to adapt to different styles and characters cemented her reputation as a talented and dedicated actress. The actress's contributions to the film industry have left a lasting impact. Her groundbreaking performances in films like Leave Her to Heaven and Pinky paved the way for future generations of actresses to take on complex and challenging roles. Her legacy continues to resonate with audiences and inspire new talent in Hollywood. In August 1956, the actress found herself in the midst of a divorce from her husband, each spouse accusing the other of infidelity. The actress also claimed that her husband had been abusive. In an interview for the book More About All About Eve, director Joseph L. Mankiewicz revealed that the studio had wanted the actress for the part of Eve Harrington, but he had refused to cast her. He described her as a hard-working and attractive young woman, but not a strong actress. Despite this, the actress had already worked with Mankiewicz on two films, playing a character named Deborah in both A Letter to Three Wives and People Will Talk. These films, like the others in her career, showcased her ability to take on diverse roles and showcase her talent. It's clear that the actress's career was marked by a wide range of roles and collaborations, even in the face of setbacks and criticism. Her work continues to be celebrated and studied, a testament to her talent and dedication to her craft. The actress, known for her radiant smile and sparkling blue eyes, had a unique approach to her work. She once mentioned that she preferred to let her characters evolve organically rather than trying to force a particular interpretation. This often meant spending a significant amount of time researching and understanding her roles, immersing herself in the context and background of each character. In the film Pinky, for instance, the actress played a light-skinned African-American woman passing as white. To prepare, she spent time with African-American women, observing their mannerisms and listening to their stories. This immersive approach allowed her to bring a depth and authenticity to her performance that was widely praised. The actress's personal experiences also influenced her work. Raised in a conservative Mormon family, she brought a certain wholesomeness and innocence to her roles. Yet, she also challenged stereotypes and pushed boundaries. In Leave Her to Heaven, she played a manipulative and possessive character, a role that was a stark contrast to her usual sweet and gentle image. Her worldview, shaped by her Mormon upbringing, and her experiences in Hollywood was reflected in her choices and her approach to her work. She once said, I've always tried to choose roles that have a positive impact, that say something good about people. This commitment to positivity and optimism was a hallmark of her career. In the end, the actress's unique approach to her work, her ability to immerse herself in her characters, and her commitment to positivity and optimism have left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Her legacy continues to inspire and influence actors today. Initially, the actress set her sights on the leading lady role in People Will Talk, but it was Anne Baxter who secured it. However, as Baxter stepped away, the actress saw her persistence rewarded and stepped into the role of Deborah Higgins. 
Her career had already been on an upward trajectory since winning the Miss Camera Girl of 1942 title in Long Beach, Florida, which led to a contract with Fox. Despite not being a favorite of director Joseph L. Mankiewicz, she portrayed a character named Deborah not once, but twice in his films A Letter to Three Wives, and People Will Talk. Mankiewicz's personal views did not deter her. She continued to shine in her performances, proving her dedication to her craft. The actress, known for her radiant beauty, began her journey in Hollywood during the 1940s. Her debut in, in the meantime led to a contract with 20th Century Fox, where she quickly made a name for herself. In Leave Her to Heaven, the actress showcased her ability to portray complex characters. Her chilling performance as a possessive and manipulative woman left a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. This role earned her a much-deserved Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Throughout her career, the actress appeared in a variety of film genres, including musicals, comedies, and dramas. In the musical State Fair, she demonstrated her singing talent, further solidifying her status as a versatile performer. Industry experts and colleagues have praised the actress for her professionalism and dedication. Actor and close friend Van Johnson once said, she was a true professional, always prepared, and a joy to work with. The actress's influence can be seen in the work of many modern actresses. Her ability to balance beauty and talent continues to inspire those in the industry. Actress and fan Kay Bosworth has cited the actress as an inspiration, stating, her career is a testament to the power of versatility and dedication in Hollywood. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in the actress's work with many of her films being remastered and re-released. This renewed interest highlights the lasting impact and influence of the actress on the film industry. Despite passing away in 2003, the actress's legacy continues to live on. Her contributions to the industry and her impact on future generations of actresses ensure her place as a true Hollywood legend. After giving birth to her son Michael, the actress returned to work after just two months to begin filming Pinky in 1949. She took on the role of Mistress Bowman in both Dangerous Crossing and Man Without a Star. The actress's biography can be found in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, Volume 7, 2325, pages 108-109, published by Thompson Gale in 27. Despite the challenges of balancing motherhood and her career, the actress remained dedicated to her craft and delivered strong performances in each of these films. Her ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters has left a lasting impact on the world of film. The actress, known for her radiant smile and sparkling blue eyes, led a life outside of the spotlight that was deeply rooted in her personal values and interests. She was a devoted wife and mother, often speaking publicly about the importance of family. In fact, she once said, my family is my greatest achievement. In addition to her love for her family, the actress was also passionate about giving back to her community. She was involved in various philanthropic efforts throughout her life, with a particular focus on children's charities. She served as a board member for the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, and was also involved with the Girl Scouts of the USA. The actress's interest in children's welfare extended beyond her philanthropic efforts. In her work, she often chose roles that highlighted the importance of family and the protection of children. For instance, in the film Pinky, she played a light-skinned African-American woman who passes as white, leading to complex issues surrounding race and identity. The film ultimately emphasizes the importance of acceptance and love within families. Furthermore, the actress was known for her love of animals and often worked with animal welfare organizations. She was a longtime supporter of the American Humane Association and used her platform to raise awareness about the importance of treating animals with kindness and respect. In summary, the actress's personal values and interests played a significant role in both her personal life and her career. Her dedication to her family, her commitment to giving back to her community, and her love of animals all informed her work and left a lasting impact on those around her. The actress experienced personal tragedy when two of her children, Michael and Christopher, passed away before she did. In a twist of fate, she died just 12 days before the release of the remake of Cheaper by the Dozen in 23, a film in which she had starred in the original version in 1950. By the time she left Fox Studios in 1956, her salary had significantly increased to $3,500 a week, which is equivalent to $38,000 a week in 2022. 
This reflects her growing popularity and success in the industry. However, despite her financial success, she faced personal loss and the challenges that come with being in the public eye. The actress Jean Crane left a lasting impact on the film industry with her memorable performances. She was known for her versatility and ability to take on a wide range of roles, from dramatic leading ladies to comedic characters. Her talent and dedication to her craft helped pave the way for future generations of actors. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, the actress has some valuable advice. She encourages young professionals to constantly hone their skills and never stop learning. Take classes, attend workshops, and always be open to new experiences and challenges, she says. The more well-rounded you are as an actor, the more opportunities will come your way. In terms of her own future contributions, the actress is always looking for new and exciting projects to be a part of. She believes that it's important to continue growing and evolving as an artist and is always on the lookout for roles that will allow her to do just that. I'm excited to see what the future holds and to be a part of creating new and compelling stories for audiences to enjoy, she says. The film and television industry is constantly changing and evolving, and I'm grateful to be a part of it. In conclusion, the actress Jean Crane's legacy within the industry is one of versatility, talent, and dedication. Her advice for aspiring professionals is to constantly strive for growth and to never stop learning. And as for her own future contributions, she is excited to continue being a part of the ever-evolving world of film and television. When actress Jean Crane completed filming You Were Meant For Me in 1948, she was three months pregnant with her son Paul Brinkman. In the film A Letter to Three Wives, she portrayed Deborah Bishop with a notable age gap between her and co-star Jeffrey Lynn, who played her husband. The film featured two other couples with significant age differences. Paul Douglas was 16 years older than Linda Darnell, while Anne Southern, born the same year as Jeffrey Lynn, was seven years older than Kirk Douglas. In her retirement, the actress and her husband focused on running their ranches, leaving the glamorous world of Hollywood behind. The couple spent most of their time working at these properties, finding a new sense of purpose in their post-acting lives. The actress' film career, which included many notable roles and performances, was put aside as she embraced this new chapter of her life. The actress, Jean Crane, began her journey in the entertainment industry at a young age. After winning a beauty contest, she was discovered by a talent scout and signed to a film contract. Despite facing challenges and setbacks, including being replaced in a major film, she remained determined to succeed. Throughout her career, Crane appeared in a variety of film genres, showcasing her versatility as an actress. She starred in musicals, dramas, and comedies, often playing characters that were relatable and endearing to audiences. Her performances were praised for their warmth, authenticity, and subtlety. Crane's passion for acting was evident in every role she played. She brought a unique energy and enthusiasm to each project, and her dedication to her craft was unwavering. She was known for her meticulous preparation and attention to detail, often spending hours researching and rehearsing her lines. One of Crane's most significant contributions to the entertainment industry was her ability to break down barriers and challenge stereotypes. She was one of the first actresses to play a multiracial character in a major film, and she used her platform to advocate for diversity and inclusion. Crane's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today. Her legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers who are inspired by her passion, innovation, and enduring impact. The story of Jean Crane is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her journey serves as a reminder that with hard work, dedication, and a little bit of luck, anyone can achieve their dreams. As we reflect on her life and career, let us be inspired by her example and strive to create our own lasting impact on the world around us. In the film People Will Talk, the actress played the role of Deborah Higgins. Interestingly, sitting behind her during a concert scene was Bess Flowers, a prolific dress extra known as the Queen of the Extras. Flowers had appeared in nearly 1,000 films, and 25 that were nominated for Best Picture. She even featured in 33 films listed in the one Fe one movies You Need to See Before You Die, surpassing any other performer. The actress, a devout Catholic, was a mother of seven children. Her youngest child, Christopher Brinkman, was the original lead guitarist for the rock group Jane's Addiction from 1985 to 1986. 
However, he tragically passed away due to a drug overdose in 1997. Brinkman's contributions to the music industry were significant, and his untimely death was a great loss to the community. After marrying RKO contract player Paul Brinkman, later known as Paul Brooks, the actress had seven children Paul Brinkman in 1947, Michael in 1949, Timothy in 1950, G9 in 1952, Elizabeth in 1958, Maria in 1961, and Christopher in 1965. In Italy, the actress's films were primarily dubbed by Dia Cristiani and Rosetta Calabetta. However, Renata Marini dubbed her in a letter to three wives, and Lydia Simonski in The Joker is wild. Paul Brooks, originally an actor, left his acting career to become a successful businessman. His real name was Paul Brinkman. He had a brief appearance in those endearing young charms. After giving birth to her son, Paul Brinkman, the actress returned to work only eight months later to begin filming Apartment for Peggy in 1948. Despite being frequently cast in musicals, she was not a singer herself. Juan Hogan was specially hired to dub the singing in all her musicals. The actress's dedication to her craft and ability to take on various roles, including those in musicals without being a singer, showcased her professionalism and commitment to delivering the best performance possible. The actress's life took a tragic turn in 1956 when her three-year-old daughter, Maria, drowned in the family's swimming pool. This devastating event had a profound impact on the actress and her family. In addition to this tragedy, the actress faced personal and professional challenges throughout her career. She was involved in a highly publicized legal dispute with 20th Century Fox, which led to a decline in her film roles. Despite these setbacks, she continued to act in films and television shows, demonstrating her resilience and dedication to her craft. Throughout her career, the actress was known for her versatility and talent. She appeared in a wide range of film genres, including drama, comedy, and musicals. Her performances were praised by critics and audiences alike, and she received several award nominations for her work. Despite her success, the actress remained humble and dedicated to her family. She was married to the same man for over 50 years, and together they had seven children. She was known for her kindness and generosity, and she was deeply respected and admired by those who knew her. In the end, the actress's legacy is one of talent, resilience, and grace. She overcame personal and professional challenges with determination and strength and she left behind a body of work that continues to inspire and entertain audiences today. After watching the actress's films, it's clear that she left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her work continues to captivate audiences, and it's no wonder she remains a beloved figure in classic cinema. The actress's ability to take on diverse roles was truly remarkable. She's shown in comedies, dramas, and musicals, always bringing depth and nuance to her characters. Her performances were not just entertaining, but also thought-provoking, inviting viewers to explore complex emotions and situations. One can't help but be drawn into the actress's world, where she skillfully navigated the joys and sorrows of life. Her characters were multidimensional, never reduced to mere stereotypes. Instead, they were fully realized individuals, each with their own dream, fears, and desires. It's easy to see why the actress's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Her work transcended the boundaries of her time, offering a glimpse into the human experience that remains relevant even now. As you reflect on the actress's career, we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. What was your favorite performance of hers? How has her work impacted you? We'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this content, please consider liking and sharing it with others who might appreciate the actress's contributions to entertainment. Your support helps us continue to celebrate the creative spirits who have shaped the entertainment landscape. Don't forget to subscribe for more content celebrating the artists who have left their mark on the world of film and television.